All right, everyone. Thank you for being with me today. Listen, I want to introduce you to this guy. Now, you have some really good video clips that's going to be shown. But this is a white male between 5'8 and 5'10. He's got brown, fuzzy hair. And guess what? This guy's got a problem, a real problem. On Monday, May the 2nd, at about mm, almost 1 a.m. in the morning, he went to the Dixie Boy Travel Center on Highway 559 in Polk City. A lady was obtaining gas there, and he walked up to her and exposed himself. She jumped in the car, locked the car, and then he walked up and rubbed himself on her rearview mirror. Well, she took off, went home to Clearwater, and called us the next morning. So we began an investigation. Well, our best investigator was the lady because she got to searching social media online and she found a similar clip that had been posted where a guy on the Ben T. Davis Beach did the same thing. Well, you can look at the two video clips and I am almost 100% sure it's the same person. We need to know who this person is. They're a deviant and they're dangerous. Historically, they start with lower level events and they work their way up. Anyone that would expose themselves, anyone that would act like he does, we have to get him out of circulation. We have to lock him up. We need to know who he is. And the whole time that the lady taking the video clip on Ben T. Davis Beach, she is very angry and very animated and you could see this big smile on his face. And then this attack on this lady at the gas station in the middle of the night is even more scary because she was out at one of these gas islands by herself when he approached her. Help us find out who he is. Call Crime Stoppers. You can stay anonymous. We'll pay you a lot of money and we'll lock this fuzzy criminal up. Well, of course. This guy looks to me to be between 25 and 30 years of age. If there's two victims, there's three victims. If there's three victims, there's more victims. Who knows? This lady drove home and didn't even call us to the next day. So how many other women have just fled from him and did not call us and let us know? Obviously, we need to know that as well, if there are other victims there. Call your local police agency. But know this, this is a deviant. This is a perverted individual, and we need to lock him up before quick. You can help us. What do you think about women have to, having to go through this? Well, they shouldn't go through it. I mean, that's why we want to lock him up. He's dangerous. Today, he's only exposing himself and doing nasty things. But what's the next step? We don't want him to get to the next step. That's why we have to have the community to help us. 